that's some good stuff. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mitch from Good Stuff Gaming, and today I'm going to be revisiting my How to Get a Good Start tutorial that I uploaded back uh, last December. And I'm doing this for, for a couple reasons. One is because it was bad quality, and uh, it just... Uh, I have a much better computer now, so it'll be better quality, as well as the fact that uh, the game has changed a lot. So some of my tips that I had back then, or some of the things that I did, might not necessarily apply to the game as it stands now. So uh, let's get into it. I don't have any characters that are like unused, so I'm just going to use this guy here which I've already set up. Uh, he has an inventory with just like if you created a new character which is a flashlight, bandages, and a granola bar. I used a chocolate bar because I didn't have any granola bars. Uh, it doesn't really matter because they're pretty much the same anyways. So we'll go back here and um, so let's say you were gonna make a new character and you wanted uh, to I guess you could say be blended in with your environment. Uh, most of them have some sort of camouflage, but uh, contrary to my previous tutorial, like I said, it's really not um, a huge factor anymore, but it could give you a slight upper hand, uh, possibly. But uh, So there's either that camo on this particular character, or there's this camo which I just think looks better. Dark shirt and your head really doesn't matter that much. Um, so yeah, the the thinking behind this is just that uh, you might blend in with your environment slightly, uh, but really it's not that big of a deal uh, anymore. And as you can tell, here's my character from the last one. Um, so now let's go and get a uh, server. So what you want to do, especially with a Bambi or a fresh spawn, is you're going to want to find a public PvE server so that um, there's less of a chance that someone will attack you um, wherever you are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check in, since I'm in North America, you could also check Europe, but um, I'm going to put PVE in the name filter and see if there's any that, uh, any public ones that don't have much people. So uh, that one is a trial server, I don't like that. Oh no, that's a time limit server, excuse me. What's the time limit on that? Because that only has two people in it. Um, so let's try and see. Okay, alright. So, looks like I could join this. Uh, essentially, what, what happens with uh, PvE servers is it's no PvP, so hopefully if you encounter anyone you're uh, not gonna not gonna get into some sort of engagement which is a help especially when you're starting out so imagining that I don't know where I am because I do know where I am oh I oh never mind oh yeah right I went on earlier um, so as you can tell I've got spawn protection and uh, what I want to do now is just check my map while I still have my spawn protection and take a look at where I am. So I'm just northeast of Clearview. So I want to head in this direction and make my way uh, back to Clearview. Uh, now, looks like it's early in the day, so it's a little dark, uh, but not, not a huge deal. Um, And as I get closer to town, I'm going to uh, want to keep my eyes open. 
Um, especially because if you look in the top right, it seems that there's zombies near me. But I can't really tell where. I mean, there's a sleeper over there. Oh, there's one. So let's let's kill them. All right. Make sure and see if they dropped something. Um, uh, if you're a Bambi and you just decided not to bring anything at all with you, uh, you can now fight with your fists, which is definitely a, a positive thing. But I'm going to, uh, right now, try and avoid as many zombies as possible. Keep in mind also that I did turn off my flashlight, um, and looks like I received a group invite, which on a, um, on a PvE server, always accept group invites because that means that people can't shoot you if they encounter you. Um, so usually what PvE servers do is they will, um, you'll, you'll be added into a group uh, because it is PvE and they don't, they don't want people uh, attacking other people and they'll oftentimes kick those that do not uh, accept the group invite. So now, since there's only the other two people on the server, I know for sure that if if I see anyone, I am positively safe, which is definitely a good thing, and I don't have to worry about player interactions. Um. So, what I'm going to do right now, if uh, as you can tell, is I'm going to go. Uh, in clear view, the best place to check first is likely going to be the police station because um, you want you want to be able to find some sort of gun right away as a backup if there's too many zombies to handle. Um, chocolate bar might as well just pick it up um, to get the spawn tables moving. Um, but you just want to check around uh, the police station, and I'll show you a couple, a couple, a couple other spots. Ointment. Mm -hmm. It's part of the new patch, but um, yeah, I'm going to show you a couple other spots that might yield some sort of loot. So, doesn't look like there's much in the police station. Always, especially on PVE servers, double check the scoreboard every so often. Uh, but my next stop, uh, you could look back there, but oftentimes there's nothing. So I'm going to move on to the uh, general store here. If you are not on a PvE server, keep in mind that you'd want to be looking around for other players. Um, because if you see other... Oh, hey, look. Um, if you see other players, you got to be really, really careful. Um... So as you can tell there, I just found a gun. It's a Kruger rifle. Oh wow, it's full too. That's that's a good find. Oh, and a medium backpack. That's also a great find. Especially as a Bambi. So let's change out the backpack. And what's nice about having this rifle is it's just a backup for zombies uh, on PvE servers. Uh, rather than a player killing weapon, it's more for self-defense against zombies. Um, but as a Bambi, that's really all you want to have, and you're going to want to just loot um, if you're first starting out. So now I'm going to come check out the fire station. Sometimes there's a gun, but you know, you can get fire hats. Uh, loads and loads and loads of fire hats. Uh, nothing really that special. Now, in terms of medications, definitely the place to check is this ambulance here and this building here. Um, let me just kill this zombie real quick and I'll show you why. Um, as you could tell right there, obviously, uh, I picked up two antibiotics. Oh, sweet. Um, which are... Uh, pretty good uh, uh, medications and 
Uh, if you look here, you can tell I am aiming up when I'm sh uh, killing zombies. I'll get into that in a different tutorial, but just make sure when you're meleeing, aim up, and uh, you'll almost always get a kill pretty quickly. Uh, now here we've got painkillers. Make sure we're checking all the rooms here. More bandages. And so since I started out kind of low health, I think I will uh, use these. Um, but see, the medical station is a great place to look for, for uh, obviously, medications. Uh, and I think with the new patch, there's some thing, some like th stuff that you that can happen to you if you get hit. So, um, I uh, it's always good to have medications on you, all types of medications. Um, so still checking the scoreboard, and I'm. Uh, careful of zombies, but really they're not a huge deal. Um, you just gotta make sure when you're killing one, uh, you have to make sure that that you are not being surrounded by them, or you're not getting uh, attacked by multiple zombies. Um, and the best way to go about uh, killing zombies is to try and pull them out one at a time. And that way, it's a lot easier for you to kill them, because there's less of them attacking you at once. Uh, so next stop here is going to be at this APC. And uh, lately, has not been close to as good of a loot spot as it used to be. But um, actually not really at all close. Um, but oh well. We'll take a stop in the supermarket in a sec. Um, but we just want to check all sides of everything, uh, so we'll take a look. Looks like there's nothing special here. Uh, take out this zombie. Make sure you check the ground whenever you kill zombies, because they might drop some uh, money. Which is always a good thing. Uh, because it really adds up. It may not look like much when you when you get it f at first, but it really does add up. Oh, why did I not put these in mine? Yeah, let's drop that. Oh, look, a pistol. Alright, that's good. I don't know what ointment does yet. Barbed wire, I think you can use that to craft. I'm not going to grab that as of now. Okay, this is a good lesson. Uh, so, as you can tell there, I picked up another Kruger rifle, which I have already. So, since I, if you want, you can you can keep it and you can put it in your global. But what I want to do is unload the clip and just drop it. That way, when I've got this, I once I expend all my ammo, I can just reload it instead of having to switch to the other gun. Uh, so looks like that was a not a bad loot, um, but still not amazing. I just heard his, I just heard an aggro, but I don't know where. Oh well. Uh, first, now I'm going to check the post office, and then I'm going to go all the way down there because that's always a, a spot where some uh, type of throwaway weapon will spawn. Um, I don't, I don't know about the post office as of, as of recently. Uh, oh, I think you can throw these. Let me try. Discarded. I'm gonna put this in my... It's, it's, I can't equip it. Okay, it must be a crafting item. So... Nothing much in the post office, uh, but I'm going to hit one last spot, and I think that'll be a good good place to end it off. Make sure you're watching your food and uh, water, so kind of low on both. So I'm going to eat a little bit and drink a little bit.
Uh, kind of sucks that there's a cooldown, but oh well. Now, if you were going on any normal loot run, hitting up every house is the best option. But right now, I'm just kind of giving you some spots to go to initially that'll get you off to a good start. So as you can tell, I'm kind of looking around, making sure there's no people, first of all, or uh, just double-checking that there aren't any zombies aggroed on me. Uh, so, once I kill this zombie, I'll show you the spots around this place that usually have a gun. Uh, where this fire helmet is, sometimes there will be a gun on these hay bales. Um, I've seen guns on these cows before. Ooh, gas mask. That, apparently these will be useful for later, so I'm going to grab that. Um, and then in this building, usually there, you can find a gun right on these hay bales here. Um, and you can also find them where this clown mask is here. Uh, and then in addition to those spots, you can oftentimes find a gun right here. Um, and, uh, yeah, see, there's some money. So you can usually find a gun right about here. And then, since I didn't find anything, uh, I can try taking a look at maybe another spot. Um, which might have have a gun. Now keep in mind when you're killing zombies that if a zombie quote unquote hears you uh, killing another zombie they will aggro. So make sure when you're killing zombies that you're kinda looking around um, just taking loops around the zombies as you kill them just to make sure that um, you haven't aggroed any others. Uh, you know what? I think that I can go over there. Um, but I, this is running kind of long, so I think I actually will cut it off uh, here. But just a couple spots for you to look at just from a distance here. Uh, usually this area does not have much. I think I see some uh, water over there. So if you're need, in needing water, you can check there. Sometimes this garage here has a gun. Behind this house right here, there is a shack uh, that might have a weapon, as well as that house. It's possible. Um, as well as all the way over there, um, the majority of players call it uh, Beach House. Uh, it is a two-story house in that direction that also carries some throwaway weapons. Um, so that, ladies and gentlemen, is how to get a good start in War Z. Um, if you were playing on a regular server, right here would not be the place to, uh, to stand, but on a PvE server you are fine. As you can tell, I'm the only one now, which is definitely a good thing. Um, but yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helped you out a little bit. Um, if you have any suggestions for, for more videos to do uh, in terms of tutorials or, or anything like that, feel free to put it in the comments. If you have any um, just comments about how I did or how I could improve, uh, feel free to also leave that in the comments. Uh, and I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching.